Good morning. A Morley man will be sentenced in May after being found guilty in the hit and run death of a young girl. Ten year old Alicia Wesley died after a van crashed into her family's car back in May of 2012. Now, a Calgary judge has convicted this man, 21 year old Fergus Hunter, of hit and run and dangerous driving, causing death. The crash happening near Canada Olympic Park as Alicia's family was on their way home from a shopping trip. They were hit from behind by a van. The impact of the crash throwing Alicia out of the car. She died in her father's arms. The police, uh, they said that we will find justice. That's what we believe too. Well, it's a miracle breakthrough for a family. And it's almost a, a two-year struggle. And now that it's, uh, it's put to rest, for our little girl, and um, we believe justice has been served. Fergus Hunter will be sentenced on May 2nd, exactly two years to the day of the fatal crash. A southern Alberta man is accused of sexually assaulting his own nine-year-old daughter and two of her friends. Police in Lethbridge alleged there were multiple assaults between June 2012 and earlier this month. The 51-year-old man is charged with three counts of invitation to sexual touching and one each of sexual assault, incest and sexual interference. The accused remains in custody and will appear in court next week. A Calgary police officer is cleared of any wrongdoing in a shooting last May that blinded the suspect. It all unfolded after police responded to reports of a suspicious vehicle near the Bank of Montreal at Crowfoot Crossing in the city's northwest. An officer approached the vehicle, it backed up, hit a police car, then jumped the sidewalk, hitting an elderly couple. The officer then fired two shots, hitting the 38-year-old driver in the head, leaving him permanently blind. The 78-year-old woman suffered a broken elbow and hip. Her 78-year-old husband was treated for minor injuries at the scene. The Alberta Serious Incident Response Team, which investigates the shooting, says the officer's actions likely saved the elderly couple from further harm. Calgary Transit has figured out what caused an electrical wire to fall on top of a C train near Crowfoot Station last week, trapping commuters for more than an hour. Officials say the overhead wire was rubbing on a bare metal strip on the train's overhead framework. That caused electrical arcing, which cut through the strip as the train moved. Then part of that framework buckled, pulling the overhead wire down, wrapping around the train, causing extensive damage. We received a batch of carbons, uh, carbon strips that make the contact with the electrical wire in November last year. And we are uh, investigating whether that batch of carbon strips uh, had any issue with it that contributed to this failure. Calgary Transit will also review and ramp up its inspection of the overhead framework. The incident forced Transit to first suspend, then limit service on the line between Crowfoot Station and Dalhousie Station. And that's a look at your news headlines. Jill Tarr.